for those of you coming from an AutoCAD background, which I suspect is quite a few of you, groups and components in SketchUp work much the same way as groups and blocks do in AutoCAD. Essentially, groups and components are used to stop everything in SketchUp and Layout from sticking together. If you've ever had a play around with the software, the first thing that most people come up against is how do I stop everything from sticking together? Groups and components protect and isolate the various items you create in SketchUp, making your workflow much simpler and more efficient. Groups contain any number of entities that have connected geometry, such as a roof, for example, or walls, but that you want to remain distinct from another area of geometry, such as walls or ceiling. So the roof and these walls are not connected. We can move the walls and the roof stays where it is. If we open the first floor group by double clicking it, you will see that within that group, there are separate subgroups for walls. You can see on the outliner, there's a floor group, there are windows and doors and joinery. And we can open those groups and you can see that within that group, I've got various components relating to objects in the model. Components work in much the same way, except that every instance of a given component is linked to every other. The changes you make to one will be replicated across every component in the model with the same name, much like blocks in AutoCAD, if you're familiar with that. This comes in really handy when you have a lot of repetitive elements, such as windows or stair treads or, or doors. So if we look, a look again at this example, we can open the ground floor model, so the ground floor group, and in here we can see there are some internal doors, which are on the doors layer. If I open that group, each of these is a component, which we can see in our outliner. This signifies a component called swing door 820 by 2400. Now, if I make some changes to this component by going into it and editing the geometry, we'll see that each of the other doors has been affected by what I do. And if I make some changes, and then you'll see that those changes correspond to each of those doors. Now I want to undo that because I like those doors the way they work. Okay, let's go back to the start. So what's the best way to work with groups and components when organizing the model? Well, firstly, and this is super, super important, always work in layer zero. Keep that layer active at all times so that whatever you create, every line you draw, every plane that you build is created on layer zero. So you can see on this layer zero is my active layer. If I go back to those doors that we talked about, okay, you'll see that the door itself is actually on layer zero. If I go into that, the geometry within there is also on layer zero. Okay, but then the doors are on the doors layer. It can be really easy for people used to a CAD sort of methodology to feel the need to be constantly switching between layers depending on what they're drawing. You just don't need to do that here. Just work in layer zero. Once you've created something, make it into a group and then give that group a name. So if I were to build something over here, on layer zero, you'll see that all of these faces are on layer zero. If I triple click to select everything, then I can right click, make group, or make component. If I select make group, I can choose a layer. So let's just call it 3D only, and I can call give that group a name. So let's just call it test block. Okay, so everything within that group is on layer zero, but the group itself is on the 3D only. If I had several of these, I can then select them all, make group, and I can put them on a different layer, say furniture, and call it 
auto merge. So you see now, if I turn off the 3D only, they'll disappear. But I can also turn off furniture and they'll disappear. Okay, let's delete those. If you want to continue working on a group, once you create it, you simply double click it and you can get inside and get to the geometry. And then you click a tap escape to exit back out of that group to get back to the rest of the model. For more on groups and components, I'd recommend you visit the SketchUp Learning Center. I'll include the link in the text below this video, but that's all for now. We'll get more into layers and groups later when we start to set up our scenes to layout. For now, I'd encourage you to have a look at something you may have modeled previously in SketchUp. Can you get better control of it by organizing the layers and grouping some elements in this way? Have a play around. It's the best way to learn. Okay, see you in the next video.